Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB School. In this video, we are going to simulate the current controller of VLDC motor. Uh, the outer loop has got PA controller and the inner loop has got hysteresis controller. Let us get into the simulation part. If you want to download this video, you can download it from the link given in the description. So let us get into the uh, simulation part. So this is the model that we are going to simulate. Uh, in this model, we have a uh, inverter along with a battery so this is the battery the voltage the nominal voltage of this battery is 600 volts and here we have the inverter and here we have the uh, bldc motor so to convert the terminal magnet synchronous machine to bldc motor we need to just change the uh, back EMF type. So if it is uh, trapezoidal, it is BLDC motor, and if it is sinusoidal, it is uh, PMSM motor. So uh, here we have the outer loop control. In the outer loop control, uh, we have few things like the reference input speed. So this is the reference input speed. Uh, in the reference, we have two values. One is the initial value and the final value. Uh, after one second, the uh, step uh, the speed will be changing from 75 uh, 750 to 1500 rpm and that will be given as input to the uh, pa controller so this pa controller will get uh, the error which is coming from the previous stage uh, here we are comparing the actual speed with the reference speed so uh, the output error will be given as input to the pa controller and output of this PA controller becomes the uh, current reference to the ne next stage. So here we have the, the current controller. This forms the inner loop. Uh, so this current controller gets the uh, input uh, from the uh, previous two stages. So here, as you can see, we'll be getting two things. One is uh, the Hall sensor's position. I mean uh, the rotor position from the data that we get from the Hall sensor and the second thing is the reference current. So we will be just finding out the direction of the uh, current and with this reference data current which is coming from the PA controller uh, we will be uh, multiplying the direction of the current with the magnitude. Okay, So this will give the magnitude and this will give the direction of current. So ultimately, we'll be getting a square wave. So that square wave will be compared uh, with a, uh, I mean, it will be compared with a actual current. So that is what happening here. And uh, so you can see here, we'll be comparing the currents. And if there is an error, that error uh, will be, I mean, based on that error, we either we'll be switching on the uh, switches in the inverter or will be switching off the switches in the inverter. So that will be done by the uh, controller here. So this is the hysteresis controller that we have in the uh, inner current loop control. So this is responsible for controlling the current. And uh, the output of this converter, uh, this controller uh, becomes the pulses. So since we are getting six different pulses from the output of hysteresis controller, we'll be feeding that to the next stage. So the, the next stage is the inverter stage. In the inverter, uh, to the inverter, we'll be giving uh, the gate pulses that we have uh, derived from the previous stage. So here we have the uh, DC supply to the inverter and from the inverter, we'll be getting the trapezoidal output uh, current and, and back EMF. So let us simulate. So the compilation has started. So let us see. See here we have the phase A current, then vehicle speed, uh, then finally the torque. So the model has started to run. 
okay so since we have given a speed reference speed of 750 rpm it is setting uh, exactly at 750 rpm and after one second it will uh, step to uh, 1500 yes so as you can see it is perfectly matching the uh, reference speed so this is this yellow color is the reference speed and the blue color is the actual speed uh, here we have the phase a current and here we have the torque yes the simulation has stopped now as you can see during the stepping of uh, speed uh, there is a variation in current and after settling the magnitude uh, remains the same but only the frequency of the current waveform is getting changed for lower speed as you can see the frequency is less and for higher frequent higher speeds the frequency is uh, somewhat higher also we can see the phase currents totally we have three phases and uh, these are the three different phase currents So the same model is available for download in the link given in the description. If you want you can download it and you can use it for your purpose. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel and hit the like button. And also you please share our channel to your friends. Thanks for watching.